Hi, this is Christopher Simmons with My Home Upgrades. Today I want to talk to you about a post that I actually wrote 10 years ago. And the funny thing is, it is the most popular post so far here on My Home Upgrades. This post is so popular, it ranks on the first page of Google. This is the one where I vented my microwave oven through the wall to the outside. This has become a really popular post. There are a lot of people that go there. So I wanted to make a short video to let you know about it on YouTube and to step through the process that I went through to vent my microwave oven through the exterior wall to the outside. If you find this video and this post helpful, do me a favor, just take a second and tap the like button. You could smash it if you want to. You could just tap it gently. It doesn't much matter. But if you'll hit the like button, it's really helping out for the YouTube algorithm. That way other people who are also interested in home improvement and kind of the home lifestyle can also find this video. So let's go take a look at the post. I'll put a link down below in the description, but there's a couple of ways to get there. The best way is to just go to myhomeupgrades.com. And then when you're at the home page, just scroll down. You'll see a list uh, of all the various posts here. And the microwave is at the bottom because it's one of the oldest. Just click through on that and you'll be right there. So I've actually put in a set of the detailed steps that I took in order to do this project. And I'm not gonna read through each one of those with you. You're gonna wanna go to the post yourself and take a look at this. Big picture, first of all, I took the microwave down. Second, removed the bracket behind it. Third, I actually looked using a, um, a stud finder to see what was behind the wall first. And then I started carefully cutting in from the inside, cutting into the wall, cutting through the wall, then I was able to find the manual, and uh, which was helpful, and realized, well, all you had to do really was turn the fan around so that instead of it blowing forward, it was blowing backward. It had another duct piece um, that was supposed to be with it. I was able to round one of these up from a very nice salesperson at a big box store. Then there's the duct piece on the outside. Um, this is the one that I went with. There's a better one um, that I've linked to down below. So you're gonna to wanna to take a look at it. And then the final product, you can see there's a, there's a vent here. You'll also notice this was actually back before I redid the yard. And that's a, covered in a separate post, but if you're into landscaping at all, or you ever wondered, well, gee, you know, how could you make the, the yard look really nice? The builder kind of left it and you know, didn't do much. You're gonna to wanna to check that out too. So um, how I, how I um, went ahead and purchased a landscape plan from a landscape architect and then executed it myself. So please take a look at the post. I've actually put down below a link to the ductwork piece that you're gonna need if you do this, and also to a very important tool, which is a stud finder. Now you're gonna to wanna to make sure before you start cutting into your wall, you're gonna to wanna to know what's behind it, whether there's electrical wire, where the studs are and so forth. So do yourself a favor and pick up one of those before you start this project. If you do this project, please let me know. I'd like to know um, whether you ran into other issues or, or whether this worked out for you. And as you can see, we've had quite a few comments down below. It's just really nice of people to comment. And, uh, and if you do this project, you should probably comment also. I'd love to hear from you and other people would also, I'm sure, because um, everyone's a little bit different in terms of their situation about their microwave or, or the vent and so forth. So please do check out the comments as well. So that was one of my most popular projects was venting the microwave oven through the exterior wall to the outside. So if you've done this project, comment down below on how you did it, what tools you used, and whether you were happy with the results. Now look, I'm gonna give you a little not so secret insight into where I'm heading with this kitchen. I'm hoping to be able to redo all of it, including moving the microwave, substituting it out, and using a smaller microwave elsewhere in the kitchen and instead putting a really nice hood over the range and who knows maybe even one of those fans that are mounted on the outside of the wall to uh, ventilate everything out 
without you having to hear the fan here in the kitchen. So stay tuned and hit the like and subscribe button to make sure that you don't miss any other of our updates or other posts or videos here in the future on My Home Upgrades.